Hi guys, this is Social Fire. I'm back again, and today I am showcasing my LR Great Simon 1 and 2. So this is a free-to-play unit. I finally finished the grind and got it maxed out. So at 100%, the HP is 19,434, attack is 15,280, and defense is 14,783. It's a max level of 150 and max SA level of 20. And the leader skill is super type allies, HP attack and defense plus 100% when the team includes all five super types. So it's a little restrictive, similar to Tech Vegeta Blue's leader skill, um, still decent overall. Now super attacks, the 12 to 16 key super is called Twin Justice Rush and it causes colossal damage to the enemy and seals super attacks. Burning Justice is the 18 plus key super attack and it causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and raises superclass allies attack by 30% for two turns. The passive skill is Victory of Love and Justice and it provides superclass allies plus four key and defense plus 50%. And then extreme class enemies get a negative 70% to their defense. Now we'll take a look at their link skills here. So they have Hero of Justice, which will provide an additional 25% to attack. Patrol is an additional plus two key. Signature Pose is an additional plus two key. In Fighter is an additional 10% to attack. And then enemy defense is minus 10%. And then Supreme Power activates penetration and gives attack and defense an additional flat boost of 1,000. Shattering the Limit is an additional plus two key, and Legendary Power is attack plus 5,000 when super attack is launched. So the link skills can also be a little restrictive here. Um, Legendary Power and Shattering Limit are more common. Some of the others, it may be a little harder to find units that match up well with those. Now, previously for this unit, the only category was the Majin Buu Saga. But with LR Yamcha coming out, it's also bringing a whole new category as well called Combination. So this will also fall under that category, and it'll be interesting to see how that new category does as a whole. And it is already available on the Wikia page, so you can check it out and see what units are included. And if you're considering maxing out this unit, the orbs you'll need, you'll need 430, or excuse me, 4,310 small orbs, 2,470, medium orbs, and 223 large orbs. Um, I like to know ahead of time myself, uh, especially when I'm determining where I'm gonna put my orbs. Um, this unit I feel was worth it though. Now, this is one of the three LRs that you can get from Friend Summons. So um, the free-to-play LRs from Friend Summons include the LR Androids, LR Hercule, and again, the LR Grid Simon 1 and 2. The drop rate can be pretty random. I mean, it's all RNG, but uh, the SA is completely farmable as long as you have some patience. The grind can feel a bit, bit tedious at times, um, especially when you're farming enough for two copies, but I would definitely recommend it. Um, I would not spend Kai's here um, simply because it can be done without it. You want to save your Kai's for other units and LRs that do not have farmable SAs. Jinro actually did an interesting video a few months ago too that you may want to check out. Um, he, he did a video on how long it would take him to pull enough copies for this unit. Again, a lot of it does have to do with RNG, but it can kind of give you an idea of the length of time you'll need. Another downside here, um, the events needed for the medals are only available on the weekends. That's the Evil Power Strikes Back event and Hero Extermination Plan but once they are available on weekends, the metal grind isn't too bad itself. I feel like some don't want to drop, like my experience, um, especially when I was streaming, you guys may have seen, certain metals just did not want to drop for me, like Piccolo, uh, Boo, and Majin Vegeta, I just had to keep running over and over and over, but others were pretty simple to get, usually five runs. Um, but especially if you're grinding for two units to get it to a total SA of 20, it can definitely take a while too but it's well worth it. Um, Free-to-play units like this, especially if you're a newer player, can be a really good addition to your deck. Um, as far as the leader skill here, although it does not grant key support, the passive does, and that additional plus four key is pretty nice. It's actually one of the higher key supports I've personally seen. Um, the defense boost is another bonus with this unit. So with the leader and passive combined, it's a total of 150% increase. 
And then after an ultra super attack, the attack gets in a total increase of about 130%, which is pretty helpful as well. It can also increase defense for weaker units that might be on your team and help your overall team last longer too. So this is a really nice, again, support unit. It's not gonna be the heaviest hitter, but that's not really its main focus. So I wouldn't be um, too upset if you're not seeing super high numbers. Um, it's going to tank well, and it's really gonna give you that support needed. Also, this unit could be great for Super Battle Road, again, because it does seal SA and have that um, lowering defense to enemies and boosting attack for your overall team. Um, it would be a great idea to test them out there as well. So we have our first Steel Con mode here, and we'll check it out and see how everything goes. Um, hopefully I didn't miss any key. All right, yay, I didn't miss any. I tried not to when I'm recording, but you know, it happens. Um, sometimes the key meter is like so slow, and then sometimes it zips through there, so. I try to pay attention. All right, so with Dokkan mode and no criticals, it's 1.5 million damage there. Again, that is with a Dokkan mode, but still not, not bad overall. And I do like the super attack animation too. Um, a lot of the newer units coming out, their supers look insane, but considering this has been around for a bit, um, it's still nice overall. I like the animation. Now I did run my Alergus Ioman on a super team setup with five different types. You could also run him on a Majin Buu Saga team as well. Um, I did run him on that for the um, Gohan EZA. They did well there too. Uh, it was definitely a great help to my team overall. And you could also run the unit on a mono physical setup, um, especially again for Super Battle Road. Um, as far as units that I linked him with, I uh, wanted to try some different units here. Um, units that would do well are Gatang, Super Vegito, and Physical Gogeta. Uh, since LR Simon decreases defense, they can definitely have an opportunity to create even more damage. I don't have those, so I tried to find units that I had that linked up well with him. Again, we were discussing how some of the links can create some issues. So what I went with, I have Goten Trunks and Marin, another free-to-play unit from a story event. Also definitely worth getting when it's available. Um, but I linked them mainly for Patrol, Hero of Justice, and Shattering the Limits. Um, Dispo shared Signature Pose, Hero of Justice, and Inviter, which help boost attack as well. And then Tapo has a passive which provides that additional 35% to attack and defense and also helps lower en enemy defense by an additional 50%. So Dispo, or excuse me, not Dispo, Tapo can come in handy just from his passive alone. Other Simon units could pair well too if you happen to have those. And then I used other units like my Tech Vegeta Blue was on the team, uh, Jilde Goku, um, had a few links, and then, you know, just overall is a great leader as far as the um, super types here. And then I had my LR Vegito because he shared a one or two links, and then he kind of picked up the slack with damage because he is definitely a heavy hitter. Um, you guys may have seen my previous showcase on him. So overall, I do really like this unit for its um, defense that it provides. Again, not the heaviest hitter, but not really too worried about that, especially if you have other units, again, that can kind of pick up the slack there. But they are going to open the window for other units to really have an opportunity to last longer and hit harder. So I, you know, I love these free-to-play units. They're definitely worth the grind and adding to your deck. They can really help you out, especially when you're struggling in events like Super Battle Road are looking to build teams just to be able to complete those. So we have another Dokkan mode here. Um, I did miss one there. You know what happens though. Um, 
let's see what he does with this. Now again, as far as hidden potential, I did crit a bit more into, or did spec a little more into criticals. Um, so we got 1.8 million there. But dodge may be another way to go, since LR Simon is more of a tank support unit. But a lot of people recommend giving him more additional attacks. Um, I usually don't go with dodge very often, but additional attacks could be helpful here, especially again with the super attack ceiling. And it, that might be more beneficial if you do plan on running this unit on Super Battle Road. So guys, let me know in the comments what types of teams you've ended up running this unit, if you do tend to use it a lot, if you were able to use it on Super Battle Road, um, and what your overall opinions are. I do really enjoy hearing and different opinions and seeing how other people use units. You know, you can always find different advice and different techniques that really work for the game. I mean, overall, I do love this unit. Um, the passive's gonna give allies that additional key, additional defense. It's gonna make them very useful for the Majin Buu Saga category since that does struggle with key overall. And it's gonna allow the team as a whole to tank more successfully. Again, that 12 key super attack seals enemies attack. The 18 key is going to give allies that additional attack. So you do not need to place them on the first rotation to benefit because the next rotation will still benefit from it as well. So again, guys, we'll pretty much wrap it up here. If you have not already, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be back with more content coming up soon. Lots of exciting stuff coming up with the upcoming Broly celebrations for JP and Hopefully global, probably more look. Looks like it might be more in January, but we still have the future Gohan event as well. So again, a lot of exciting opportunities and things that I'm definitely looking forward to as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking it out.